10 years ago, I uploaded my first ever YouTube video. I made videos for four years straight every single week. I got about 100 views every video. Then a video exploded. It reached millions of people all from my bedroom. I bought my first ever studio, built a gym where we could always record, and a very mature office upstairs where we could work together. And now the team has grown so much, we need more space. Then I found this online. It was walking distance away from the studio. Even more space than needed, but it kind of sucked. But we think we could make this work. So we stripped it down, replaced the floor, parts of the walls and I built my dream YouTube studio and this is how it turned out Welcome to the studio and it is finally finished we will get back to this space here because it has quite a unique layout but this is room number one and it used to be uh, kind of dirty. The floor was orange red ish, but it also had a lot of other colors. There was an old couch here. We got rid of everything. It's completely clean now, and I'm super happy with how it turned out. Laying the floor and everything went perfectly. So, the renovating of the entire floor cost like 3,000 euros. The entire idea of this studio is actually to have a set at every single thing that you will see. So every individual room or every individual place has a purpose and that is to just build on that, be creative. And I think we succeeded here. So this is empty with a reason, so we can build sets here. So if we wanna have someone bench for 30 days straight and we put a bench here, camera there, we can film that for 30 days straight. That has been a success so far. And here we have an entire clothing rack dedicated to Gymshark, use code STEM by the way. Also if you use code STEM, make sure to share your order to my Instagram and I will reply to you back. Then something that I really struggled with was was storage space. So something that you always need for making videos is camera equipment, stuff like that. Yes, nowadays you can also make cool videos with your phone. We actually shoot all our shorts on phone, but I love camera equipment. I love investing in it, uh, but it takes up a lot of space. So right now it is uh, kind of empty. There's nothing really in here, but uh, we're gonna build this out over the next few weeks months and I think that's what we need. Because of what we're doing and you guys watching, we can just keep growing. There's actually like 10 people working now in the company, which is pretty insane. We need the space to grow. So that's also why I had this studio. I really think that the cool story of this as well is that my girlfriend's dad and my dad, they built this out. We couldn't buy these storage spaces because I just think they look sick, they look clean. This is how they turned out. I think it really shows also like friends, family, everyone is helping us out to just make these silly, very high quality videos. <laughs> and this might be my favorite thing in the entire studio, which is very random, but there are eyes here on the heating. And the reason for that is because these eyes you will find at the airport in the Netherlands, and this will be at a parking lot to make sure that you don't park there for too long. So my girlfriend decided to put these eyes on the heating here. So I do not forget to turn it off because I always forget to turn off the heating and it actually works. It's also in the front door, so I will never forget the heating anymore. This wall was also completely custom made by a friend, not just for looks, but also for sound because the insane amount of echo that this place had, quite echoey. I'm not sure if you can still hear it, but uh, he made it for like 1500 bucks, which is really cheap. I don't think you can make it for that. But uh, yeah, I will put more stuff in the description as well if you want to check it out. But this wall is movable, so we can also build sets with it, but also it will reveal, oh, almost breaking a lamp. It will reveal almost breaking a lamp, but it revealed the infinity wall. We have to remove the shoes to keep it clean and white because otherwise the effect is gone because it will be very trippy to look at and very hard to even find the corner of this entire contraption. But this is the reason also why I got this studio. This studio needed this because our biggest series on the channel, one of the biggest fitness series that we're having because you guys are watching it, is a 90 day challenge. Up until this point, we had to build the entire set from scratch and then we had to destroy it. And that set consisted of a white paper sheet backdrop and that was it. This is literally that next level and I couldn't be happier. The features are pretty epic as well. This entire wall was custom made by Limbo One. You shout out to them for helping me with this project. They were extremely professional and actually are the company for studio walls. They literally make insane contraptions. So uh, creating this, really thinking with me on how this wall would function the best and they actually just built it in a few days, which was insane. If you're looking for a wall like this, make sure to contact these guys, link in the description. I still had to partly pay for this wall, and on average, a wall like this is not cheap, of course, but for us, it was 100% worth it. So uh, the price of these, they can vary, literally depending on how you build it, from a few thousand bucks to 20,000 bucks, maybe even more. 
So this is where a massive part of the investment of the studio comes to play because lights are not cheap because we've got all these light panels here that illuminate the backdrop but we also have massive lighting. They are not even bright right now. They're literally on the... Oh, I will show you. So I've got the names of each individual light on the stream deck here and let's say I want to remove the lights on the walls. Well, there you go. They are now off. But if I want to remove the hair light, but if I remove these two lights and now everything is off and I can obviously also adjust the intensity and this studio can get bright. And you will find a lot of random tech here. So if you move up to the ceiling, everything is attached to these pull-up bars. The guys who installed these pull-up bars actually hung on them and did pull-ups on them while attaching the lights and everything. So this behind me was probably the biggest project of the entire studio and also the biggest investment. This probably cost up to like 40,000 euros. So uh, don't rob me. Uh, please don't come here to grab the lights and everything. We also have a security system, which is pretty advanced. So I, I will get you. And here we have things that we use a lot. So we have a massive TV monitor. And here we can literally see what we're filming. So it's useful. Uh, this is something new, which you will see in new transformations. We've used it a few times now. You can stand on this and then spin on it and if you then 90 days later do the exact same shot you can spin into your transformation which looks extremely sick i think because we've never really managed to pull it off yet but you will you will see next to that we have a skill for obvious reasons weighing yourself and that's what we do at the 90 day challenge as you can see everything here in this space is for the 90 day challenge uh, talking about that here we have a massive sign that says the 90 day challenge also something that i always wanted a neon sign that can look just sick on camera so let me know how you like it we've recorded some epic videos here short stories everything for the 90 day challenge so the 90 day challenge is not just the epic fitness challenge that you see on the channel but it's also a workout app that you can download right now and you should definitely check out it's literally uh, fred's creating an app we have super talented developers but they're all like it's a super small team and if there's something that i want to grow in it is the app it is still a fun project that you can literally now download for free which i already mentioned but i want to mention it again because it costs a lot of money to have an app and we're not making a lot of profit but if we grow then this entire space here is where we would grow and where people could sit and would work so this is where they would sit and work the entire day they would obviously not sit there they would sit here with these four chairs where we now have meetings uh, that we don't want to do in the other studio because they're about secret things and also yes for those wondering these are an insane amount of windows which is really cool but also a bit hard with uh with light sometimes but i absolutely love this space and again there's so much space here that we can still build this out and uh there's a pen next to this laptop which is no purpose because who uses a pen with a laptop and now probably the most used room, the sit down slash reaction studio. Here the audio is also a lot better, but also the entire set here is made. So we would be standing right here. We would have to press one button and we would be ready to record. And then we have a laptop right here on the table and then we can start reacting right away. There's also a teleprompter. It's very hard to see right now with all these massive lights. You can actually put a tablet in there, which I will do right now. So if we get behind the camera right now, uh, there's not a lot of light here. We can find the tablet here. And while we're here, uh, there is actually way more light here, but uh, we just keep it like this here. So literally everything stays the same. So we are ready to record at any moment. We can put this in front of the camera and then the mirror in front of the lens, it will actually show the text that we need to say. But we don't use this for the videos on YouTube. We do this for the videos in the app where we have written out all the knowledge and all the tips and tricks that we want to share with you guys. But we actually stay straight to the point because if you're watching this video, you're probably like, hey, this guy is rambling on a lot about a lot of useless stuff. That's me without a script. Um, so that's why we have the script so we can just stick to the point and actually just give you the value within the app. And we've made a lot of these videos. Actually, let me pull just one up. Let me pull up a video. Expectations about your body transformation. You can click it and then the video pops up. When you start working out, it is important to have realistic expectations. On our that's YouTube, here, you it's here. <laughs> this has been a game changer. So this set has a lot to offer. This device that I have in my hand right now will trigger something pretty insane. A white wall, <laughs> a white wall, or actually, there's also there's also a gray one. I think that's pretty sick. 
We want to make sure that this is the best set for making videos, just talking to the camera, talking at videos. We also have this cool old looking light and we bought it, but then we replaced the light bulb in there for a colorful one. We can change the color. Wow, wow, never seen before. And yes, yeah, so we've got more polar bars here on the ceiling with a lot of big lights, but also expensive lights. Yes, uh, this entire studio is very expensive. We have a table here, which is super nice, super clean. It's like 500 bucks. I wanted this table, I really wanted it. I wanted this studio to be perfect. We've got this soundproofed wall, which is really cool. And the closer I get to this wall, the sexier I sound, I hope. I think 2,000 euros. And then the lights. I think this entire space, the reaction slash talking head studio, this is also 15,000, 20,000 euros. And do you need this? No, I remember me, myself, like 10 years ago, buying my first set of lights, actually. They were 50 bucks and I've used them for so long. And I fell in love with making videos at that point, just setting up my own lights, creating an own shot. And that was perfect. I absolutely love that I can literally be like, hey, I want to have a cool set and now it's here. I want to have a cool studio and now it's here. And that's just possible because people are watching the content um, that I hope is also getting better and better and you guys Apparently, like, we also really put a lot of effort into the reaction videos on this channel. Reaction video sounds like someone just sitting here uh, and just putting a laptop here and reacting to a bunch of videos that we don't really care about. I have calls every single week about the videos we're gonna react to, what the story is, why we should react to them, if we can add any value. So I think this video I really wanted to make as well to show you guys a bit more of a behind the scenes here. The fact that you're watching this and this entire long talk and you're interested, that just means a lot to me and I, I am, I'm able to build everything here. Um, there's one more room that we will go into right now, but I, uh, I'm a bit worried to show you. And this room is kind of a mess and it's actually supposed to be a mess because something that I learned is that you definitely need storage because if you don't have storage, everything looks like a mess. And now this room just looks like a mess. There's a lot of random stuff. There's uh, the time from when I try to podcast. Oh, I just ruined it. My old dumbbells are here, so that's 25 kilograms. So that's, that's quite heavy. We've got a disassembled puller bar there. We've got another puller bar right here, which is actually the worst puller bar I ever bought. Don't buy this one. Let's get out of this room and I will show you the last few things. And that brings me to where it all started, uh, literally because we went full circle. As I said in the beginning, it has a pretty interesting layout because we literally just walked an entire circle and now, we're here in this room again, but if we back up again, I will go into one of the last rooms we have, which is the kitchen. And the kitchen is very basic and very small, which is also why we rarely use it. We actually still use the other studio for that. Everyone really works there. And also, again, this didn't look the greatest and we wrapped it. So my girlfriend is really good at wrapping things and she looked like, like you would wrap a car, she wrapped the kitchen. Yeah, we, we have the utilities that we need, but this is not a great kitchen. It's just not. But a room that is very epic and extremely important, maybe the most important room of all, get ready. The toilet! We actually have two toilets. You won't believe it. Like they're actual big office toilets, which again, uh, never owned something like that. So that's a milestone. Uh, we've got a mirror even. And, and oh, oh, what's up? <laughs> I dreamt of having a studio like this since forever. And it's insane that we can now work in this and have this. And a lot of these studio tours actually have a similar ending and end with the quote, you don't need this. And I 100% agree with that. You don't need all this fancy equipment and it, it is true. But I do think that we really needed this for productivity, for making the content. Um, but yes, you can just start with your phone and start creating content. But we, obviously we needed this. We have a reaction set here, uh, which sounds like uh, on the surface, us just reacting to videos. But we have to build this set over and over again, break it down. And that will save us a lot of time by not having to do that right now. But also we can now spend a lot more time on the things that we like. So instead of building the same set over and over, we can now spend more time on the content, researching the content, making sure that what we re react to is actually worth it. What we create is worth it. And that has been working so well for us right now. And this will only level up right now. And the only reason why this is possible is because you guys are watching the videos. You guys are smashing the link, subscribing. You guys are drinking your water. So I really wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this possible. I really hope you enjoyed the studio tour. And this journey of YouTube has been insane. 10 years ago, I could have only dreamt of this. And right now, I'm standing in the middle of the dream.